All right, I'm out at the range again this morning. I uh, brought a, a new toy I picked up last weekend in a trade. It's a Ruger Mark III. It's got the bull barrel on it. The target sights, front and rear, adjustable. Um, haven't shot it yet. I've got, uh, right at the moment, I've already got four magazines loaded up with four different types of uh, ammunition. As you can see, it's got its own Picatinny rail. I haven't found a red dot yet. I don't know if I'm going to put one on. I'm going to try it. Since I haven't shot it, I'm going to try it out today and see how it shoots. I'm going to set some paper targets up out there. I've got some several different paper targets that I've uh, I actually just downloaded them from right there. They got several several different ones. If you got a printer at home, printers are pretty cheap. If you don't, steal the one at work and download you some. I think I did print some of these at work, but the colored ones I know I did at home. Because they don't use colored paper at work. And I guess you can get pretty high tech with them if you got some better paper. Um, I'm going to stop, set up the tripod, and uh, we'll go over this a little bit, I think, first. Um, I traded this. I've been kind of eyeballing these for a whole year or so. I, January, I picked up that Chipawa. Not real happy with it. At the time, I thought, well, do I want the Ruger or do I want this? I also have been looking at the SR-22 uh, by Ruger. I'm a big Ruger fan. I got Ruger revolvers. Always enjoyed them. Never had many issues with them. Uh, the light's kind of hard to tell. But here on the uh, left panel is the uh, release right here for the slide. So it goes forward. The safety is back here. And the mag release right down here. Pretty much uh, same positions as your uh, 1911s. The grip, I, I, it's on there somewhere. I think it says 22 slash 45. The grip is also the uh, same ergonomics as a 1911. Other than that, and having those three devices in the same thumb spacing, it really is nothing like a 1911. I wish Ruger would just back off that one until they make a 1911 in the 22. They do make a 1911. Uh, they're pretty popular. I do see them at the gun shows. But this is nothing like the 45. I wish I'd just back off that one a little bit. It's a 22. Magazines are uh, metal, not plastic. Unlike the Chippewa magazine, the 10 rounds line up in there. Fairly nice. You don't see them staggered. You don't see them uh, double stacking in there. The magazine's got pretty good tolerance. Comes with a little loading device. I didn't need it. If you drop the rim down in the center there. It drops right in. Just hold the thumb. Deal down. Alright, I'm going to stop, set the camera up, and uh, staple the target up. Alright, this is the first magazine I've shot from it. Uh, this time I'm shooting uh, some Winchester 22 ammo. It's, uh, I think it's equivalent to what they call the white box. So far, let's see what goes on here. with feed or ejection. That's what I'm looking for in a gun, I guess. Magazine cleans out pretty good. See, I'm not going to lie to you. If I shot bad, I shot bad. I got one in the bull, or in the ring. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got all kinds of them off the side. I only shot ten rounds, so I'd say the, maybe these two or three right here are from me on this side here. 
Let's see if I can correct that a little bit and do it again. We know I got uh, those, so they're just a reference point. All right, this is the second magazine. This time I'm shooting uh, some CCI standard velocity, uh, 1,050 FPS. I think they're a 40 green bullet. I'm not going to step away here and look, but I believe that's what they are. It's a blue box CCI. Uh, they're just a lead, lead projectile. It's not a jacket. It. The target is... Uh, about 18 paces from the bench. So, it's not quite 20 yards, I don't think. Huh. Safety off. Front side is my friend. That's mag number two. Let's go see what happens. All right, I'd say uh, part of that is me. I don't think it's the gun because you can see that I'm getting... I may have to adjust it a little bit to the uh, to make up for this left. It may be my, my finger on the trigger doing that. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine. I'm sure they're all right here. I did get one in the blue. I don't know which ones it was. Hopefully if I was shooting that to gopher, that was the first one. Alright, if I was just shooting steel plates, I guess I'd be hitting it. I'm not right where I'd like it. I don't know if I want to move that target back first and kind of like to leave it at that distance. Uh, this next bunch is some leftover Remington Thunderbolt ammo. I probably had it for a couple years back before the crunch. I found it in my safe here last time I was out before I come out. I just have a this and a few more left. I'm going to use them up today. Again, no fail to feed, no fail to eject. Every every one of them fired off. Nice and crisp. I do like the trigger pull on that gun. That's a, that's a real nice trigger pull. Uh, I see there's a little blowback action coming on, on the slide here. Some oil. I don't know if that was just excess of oil that was in there. I picked this up used. I don't know how much of a, you know, what kind of condition or treatment the guy made to it. I'm going to take it apart a little bit later and clean it. I understand they're a little bit of a bear to, to clean, but that's, that's all right. I'll figure it out. I don't know what to think. Uh, it looks like I have a little bit of a shoot to the left, not a jerk to the right with a finger kind of attitude going on here. I don't know if I need just to uh, adjust the uh, front sight or the rear sight. I'll, I'll think about this. I'm going to shoot it a little bit more. I'm going to put a clean target up here after this next magazine. We'll try it again. Alright. I'm going to use some Federal Jacket at 31 grain. 1450. 
FPS. I uh, gotta kind of put my point of aim at the uh, lower right corner this time of the target, the lower right uh, section of the silhouette. Anyway, and use that for a reference, and we'll see how it looks when when we're done here. Jerk that one. That one too. Uh, another thing I'm noticing, the magazines don't fall out. But they do have this little uh, deal here that helps you pull them down. They seem to work okay that way. I wouldn't be carrying this other than maybe a little uh, Alright, this is the last of the uh, Thunderbolt ammunition. I'm going to have five or six rounds here. I'm going to shoot them. Hit the wrong button there. And uh, I think I'll stop here and I'm going to take a walk down there just to see how those did. Alright, I'm a little bit convinced that it needs some sight adjustment. It shoots high to the left. Uh, I don't have a manual with me, so I'm not even going to attempt it today until I read to make sure I'm doing it right. I'm fairly certain I have a screwdriver or two in my bag, but it's not a big deal. Alright, there was a fail to feed. Let's see, what's what's the issue here? Is it a magazine issue? That may be the issue right there. I'd say there's a magazine issue. Let me uh, reload those. See what happens. All right, I changed out the magazine. Uh, something you can see I've done. I've done all my magazines uh, for my 1911s, all my other guns. I've numbered them. So I know when I get home, I either have an issue with that mag or I need to just call it. So that number three mag was the one I had the issue with. All right, none of them were an issue. Let's go down range and take a look. 
All right, that last bunch was the uh, Federal jacketed. Uh, I think that was rated at uh, 1235. This is the Winchester jacketed, and it's rated at 1255. This is what I was calling the white box earlier. We'll try that. No issues with the uh, ammo feeder or shooting. Alright, this is uh, the CCI. I'm uh, going to fire this one off. I'm going to take the camera down, change the target, and I'm going to move the camera, try to get a little different angle of it. And then I'm going to load some magazines up. And uh, see if. Uh, if I can get it to fail to feed, fail to fire on its own, I'm just going to fire up. I've got uh, I've got a lot of, I won't say a lot of 22 ammo, but i got a, enough to play with today. And this is what I brought. I did my, bring my 1911, but I've, I'm not going to shoot it. I just brought it because that's my carry weapon. Safety off. Alright, always quality control, and I, I fucked up there. Look at that, that came out of the box like that. It fed, it didn't fire, didn't even dimple, but it didn't eject either. My pocket knife was able to get it out. Some uh, activity going on the other day. A couple guys like me, maybe a little too much time on their hand, they build a little homemade shooting gallery, and they're having some fun with it. Uh, I just stopped a minute. I had that one bad uh, bullet there I showed you earlier, and I reloaded a, a fifth magazine. Took a look at my target, and uh, I honestly moved it in at. Uh, around 10 feet or so there, and it made a, a difference in the, where they're at. I could account for all 29 rounds. Uh, about 70% of them are in the, in the target area. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot these last 20 here. I don't want to throw all my 22 ammo out in the world. I'll, you know where I'll find some more. And thank goodness for a cheap Chinese knife. Never leave home without a knife. Death Row gives rule number six. Alright, I'm not sure about that magazine either. When I loaded it, it felt funny. I'm going to stop. Having some magazine issues. I don't know if these are just new magazines. They need to be worked. Or if they need to be set back to rigor. It's two in a row.
go at this again. I, uh, playing with the magazines, I think they're fairly good. Uh, they're stiff. I noticed they were stiff when I was loading them, unlike a few of the others. Maybe they've never used, but I, uh, took three bullets out of the one and fired, uh, the, the remaining six. It worked fine. I added a few more, or seven. Then I fired three off the other one. Try it again. That seemed to work better. I'm going to try that last magazine yet that I had earlier problems with. It's the range and I shot uh, about four and a half boxes of uh, 22 ammo, different makes, different uh, velocities and uh, jacketing. Enjoyed it. I had a couple uh, glitches. One was just a bad round. QC at the factory missed it. I missed it when I was loading it. Uh, the other one was I kept trying to uh, chamber it around by releasing the slide like I would a 1911 or a Glock, whatever. Um, it does release like that. No problems. Um, I had a couple magazines I think were fairly new, probably never been used. They were pretty tight. Uh, with less than 10 rounds in them, they fired fine. But with 10 rounds in them, they didn't want to chamber. So we got that, I got them loaded and I'm going to leave them loaded for a few days and try it the next time I go out. See how they work. The one issue I did have with this gun overall, and not just the sights, I'm not even worried about the sights. I'll figure that out. That's, that's minor. You have those kind of issues with any gun. Cleaning. Cleaning. It is absolutely a bear. You need a good mallet. And you need, uh, I used a paper clip. There's a little pin here. Uh, I can get it now with my thumb, I think. You probably break your nail the first time you open it. It's in here. It might be hard to see because it's all black. I do suggest when you have one you want to clean it, go to Phantom Shifter, I think that's how you say it's one word. I'll put a link in the description below to his website. His video is not real uh, HD quality, but he uh, he describes each part and uh, the way to do it so well. And he does it at such a rate that you can follow along and do it. His video is worth watching. Um, and it made it so much easier. Uh, I think if I was doing it just off the uh, manual, I'd have probably uh, tore up the manual and burn it and sent it back to the rear and say it was defective. Uh, the gun, overall, I really liked it. Uh, it's a lot better than that Chapala 1911 model 22 I bought in January. It's uh, twice the gun, just a little, uh, you know, a few dollars more. If you're looking for a nice 22, uh, if you, you guys that uh, still cowboy a little bit, carry something in your saddlebag or on your belt, nice little weapon maybe to bring dinner home, shoot some gophers or groundhogs with it. Um, nice and it's heavy, but it's...